All right, that. Did. Hello, everyone. I just found this in the the garage attic. This is a remake because the other video wasn't really good. As you can see, it is in very nice condition. I'm actually thinking of repairing this someday. I'm not going to plug it in because I might have to replace the plug. As you can see, not looking too good. If you threw it up there for a reason. There's tape on there. It's all falling apart. But the radio is very in good condition. So let's take out the chassis and see what we got to work with. I'm not going to work with it. Work on it today, but maybe someday. Let's take out these screws. Hold on. I need to get a screwdriver, which I have. Hopefully this screw comes out easy. Oh wait, I had to use uh, pliers. Have to take out the antenna. I think I'm never gonna put a screw in this. Hold on. This will take a while. Alright, that didn't take a lot of time. Here's the inside. I already just noticed. I just noticed the mice just got to the radio. So let's take off the knobs and pull out the chassis. I forgot about the knobs. There's one knob. There's two. Alright. Now let's, let's take out. Hold on, let me set you on a something. Let me set you on something so you can see me taking out the chest. I think that'll do. Alright. good shape for the radio. Alright, here's the radio. Radio looks to be in good condition. Oh wow, look at that speaker. That's in that's clean. A little bit of soldering that might have to be done, but hey. Nice old radio. I'll take an old radio. I don't know if it works though, but here's the speaker. Transformer looks to be not in bad shape at all. But a few wires might have to be adjusted with this thing. There's old light bulb for the light for the thing. What does it look like when I tune? Oh, that's what it looks like. It might need a little oiling. It's a crystal tube. Oh, that's that's stuck in there. Not too bad for old radio that's been sitting in the garage for 50 years. Or a hundred years. Well, as you can see, I've been starting to clean the uh, radio since I have some tubes. 
right there. Here's the inside of the uh, chassis. Not too bad. Look, let's look under the radio. Let's get a closer look at what I'm going to be dealing with. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty clean. A little capacitors. My question is, where is that plug lead to? It leads there. That is that safe looking? Does that look safe to plug in? I don't know. I have to look all the capacitors. I mean, radios like these are unique. Oh, the light just fell out. This is what the radio would look like if the antenna was on. There's a Sylvania tube. I hope you did enjoy the looking in the radio. I might fix this someday. I might. Huh. Looks like the bulb just fell out. Let me fix that. There. Fixed. It's a nice old radio. It needs to be a little bit clean so I can increase the value. Because my dad wants to sell it. Even though this is a family item. I'm not letting it go. One last look. Where we go. Alright, comment, subscribe, and buy. Alright, the chassis back in. I would plug it in, but mm, I just don't trust it. Guys, do you think it's safe? Here, let me even open the little cardboard thing, because this was not on here when I first found the radio. I want to plug it in, but my dad's telling me no, it could blow up. And yeah, it can, but it, I mean, it looks to be in good condition for it to not blow up. But I'm not taking chances with the plug. And the wires, because them wires were bit by mice. Luckily, I did not find a dead mice in the radio. Well, this is what it looks like inside. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I don't think it's safe. Mm. So let's see what I did to it. First of all, I cleaned it. All the tubes are cleaned. Yeah, but some wires are falling apart on the radio, so I don't know. I honestly don't know what to do with it. It's a nice radio, though. Can someone comment in the video to see if the radio is okay and won't blow up on me? Any of you radio experts, tell me and see if it's okay to plug it in. I mean, the transformer looks fine. You've seen the bottom of it. You've seen the tubes. The tubes look fine, but the wires. If I plug in the radio, will the radio blow up if these wires are broken, like disconnected from it? Any of you radio experts, tell me, please, because I really want to plug it in, but I'm just too scared 
My dad even told me to not plug it in. So, I hope you enjoyed. Me opening up the chassis and looking at the radio and cleaning it. So, comment, subscribe, and bye.